17 minutes after 7 o'clock, it's a Tuesday Showcase. My studio guest tonight, uh, born uh, in Durban, and he, uh, I think, still lives in Reservoir Hills where he was born. Uh, he's uh, a very talented uh, South African actor, and uh, he's most famous for uh, his work on screen, and we're going to talk about some of uh, the uh, the work that he's uh, done. Uh, he is also uh, prolific on social media, and uh, I'm just delighted that he's finally in studio. I've been trying since 2017, Rushil Jaglal, to get you into the studio. Welcome to Lotus FM. Hey, Alan. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Yes, two and a half years. Wow, is it that hard to get hold of me these days? Well, it says all good things come to those who wait, right? So Absolutely true. And it was your first time walking into the SABC as well. So welcome to the yes. SABC. Thank you so much, Alan. And thank you to the all the listeners right now who are listening in really really appreciate the love and support well i've got so many questions for you rushil but i also know that you've got fans and uh, you know they'll be tuned in tonight so <laughs> yes, uh, yes. i'm going to open the whatsapp line if you have any questions or comments or you just want to compliment this brilliant young actor uh, please send us a message rushil and i would love to hear from you 0716137803 that's our whatsapp number in studio 0716137803 any questions or comments for my studio guest tonight uh, is uh, the talent uh, actor Rushil Jaglal. So, uh, Reservoir Hills, that's home, Rushil? Yes. And um, what's your early memories growing up or, you know, in Reservoir Hills just outside Durban? And if you're sitting in Joburg or Cape Town, let's just quickly <laughs> describe, how would you describe Reservoir Hills, Rushil, to someone who's never been there? Well, it's a very, very it's a suburban town, mm. very suburban town, uh, very, very beautiful. I mean, majority of people who live there, very, very loving, very, very kind. I mean, I've been brought up over there for the past 24 years now. I've been living there. Right. Your whole life. Yes. Okay. And um, I have to say over the 24 years, I've had good experiences living in Reservoir Hills. It's such a open place, so to speak. Very, very serene, very, very open, very, very out there. We have our own mall, which is so convenient. Right. Uh, and, you know, you've got views of, uh, of uh, the ocean, depending on where your house is situated in uh-huh. Reservoir Hills, right? Yes, that's true. That, but that's a very, very far view. And you've also got a reservoir at the, at the very top of the yes, hill. Yes, absolutely. Even more convenient. I mean, <laughs> and you watch it and I'll just go to Reservoir. <laughs> uh, uh, and school? Did you uh, go to school in the area? Yes. Um, I went to first Pemry Ridge right. and from Pemry Ridge it was to Resmond Primary. From Resmond Primary in high school I was in A.D. Lazarus. So if I had to speak to a 12-year-old Rushil Jaglal yes. and asked him, Hey Rushil, when you grow up, when you're a big boy, what do you want to be? That would be a very, very hard question to answer because at that stage of my life... Yeah. I was like very, very mixed up about what I want to become. Should I become what my parents would like me to become or should I become what I have to become? What did your parents want you to become? They wanted me to become someone like uh, maybe working in an ordinary office job, 95, like yeah. maybe in a bank or something, studying a degree and getting into a bank. Nothing wrong with that, Rushil. I would say, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> but? But my head was like somewhere else. Should I become that or maybe should I become an actor? So you mean at a very young age, you yes. knew that you wanted to be an actor? Yes, around 12, 13 years old. Oh. It was that time, that moment of my life, 13 years old, that I realized that my true passion lies in acting. And growing up, people used to think, okay, fine, you would like to be an actor, but how are you going to make it here locally? How will you really make it locally? So I used to tell myself, okay, fine, the Anything small can lead to something big. Who knows? I'm not going to give up on my true passion for acting. Not ever. So at the age of 13, when, you know, uh, the penny dropped and you realized yes. you want to be an actor. Hmm. Um, any opportunities uh, during your high school years to perform in school plays? Uh, did you do speech and drama when you were at school? Well, I did drama for three years in okay. high school, grade right. 10, 11 and 12. Okay. Uh, it was uh, an intense course, right. very, very intense. I never knew acting required so much of like energy to put into when I used to do drama. I used to remember staying behind uh, after school to practice my lines, all my plays, everything. It was, it was tough. Do you think, uh, you know, all actors need to have some type of uh, training in the art or can someone just have a natural ability and become an actor? I think... Um, both. I mean, I think if you have the natural talents, it's fine. But also at the same time, you have to study it. You have to perfect your art. It's like me going to an audition and not even knowing what to do. But yet I just want to go there because I want to go there. Mm. So it requires a lot of training, a lot of physical activity, emotional activity. There is so much to go into the arts. I mean, st- uh, studying is, I think, the main thing that can really, really help grow your craft as an actor.
Well, I'm just delighted to hear your voice because I've seen you on screen uh, <laughs> twice now in you know two really big movies. Yes. Uh, and uh, you know, your character didn't really have a speaking part. It didn't have, but everybody just loved it. And I would really love to say thank you to all of them. So tell me, uh, when people come up to you in malls and when mm. you're out and about, mm. do they call you Rushil or Asavan? Asavan. And, uh, and how does it make <laughs> you feel to know that you know your character? I, I suppose Sean Connery had that problem. They called him James, right? Or 007 when he went around. Yes, yes. I can definitely understand if an actor has to go into a mall and just be called the character's name, how they could feel. Because, yeah. you know, at some point it does get to you. But uh, you just have to get used to the fact that, hey, uh, just take it in a way that people cannot separate the character mm. and the actor. And, you know, the true essence of being an actor is where you cannot separate the, uh, the character from the actor. That's the true essence and true, like, you know, admiration I have for any actor who is into this field. So the true essence is when you cannot separate the character from the actor. Yes. So when both are one. Yes. Right. I mean, that's that's interesting. Yes. Uh, you know, I had a chance to bump into mum and dad outside. Mm. Yes. Uh, and uh, both lovely people. And, you know, mm. I'm sure they're immensely proud of you. Yes. But when you didn't take that office job, you know, go and you know, do the traditional thing and you told them, listen, I want to be an actor. What was that discussion like? What was their reaction? Well, at that point, they had no choice. They knew I was like in some much way being very very stubborn like trying to convince them because I said you know I love to be an actor I, I'm just so passionate about the business I'm, I'm really really passionate I've studied mm -hmm. it for three years in high school I've, I perfected my art and I don't know it, it, it was just like that type of discussion because I said I just love acting and also story writing growing up watching loads of movies and series I discovered that there's also another true passion in me, and that is story writing, because I used to be so intensely involved in the movies and series that I watched, mm -hmm. which used to interest me, that I used to develop stories in my head, because I used to be so intensely immersed in them. So through that, I also discovered my true passion for story writing. Wow. At the age of 17, I developed my first I idea for a story, and it was amazing the way at the age of 17, I could write a story so intense. and what, so. What was the story about, Rishi? Well, um, it revolved around these two characters. It, it was something out of like, you know, the usual Bollywood where they, there's two people who meet, but they, mm. their marriage is refused because they're not of the same caste, the same religion, or the same, you know, that type of thing. So I developed it in my head and it was something out of that story where they were refused, uh, where their parents refused for them to come together. And um, the one dies and the other avenges the death of the of the beloved so that's the type of story i developed at the age of 17. so the story what happened to that uh, that concept that you developed um i still have it in my head i've put right. few pen to paper but i don't know when it'll ever bear its fruition it, it depends on time is it something that you could see yourself doing at some stage where you you know you're writing movie scripts and you know bringing these i mean not necessarily a movie it couldn't even yes, be a book right a book yes yeah. true so i do see myself like that in the future too not only right. acting, but also story writing a lot. 25 after 7, it's uh, Lotus FM. My name is Alan Khan. Thanks for the pleasure of your company tonight. Uh, uh, the voice of Rushil Jaglal, my studio guest. And uh, the uh, comments uh, are coming in thick and fast, Rushil. And I know you're trying to peek yes, onto yes. the screen, but uh, we'll share those comments with you in a second. Uh, the WhatsApp line, if you want to say hi to Rushil and pay him a compliment or ask any questions, 071-613-7803. That's 071-613-7803. So after school... Uh, you know, you've matriculated. Um, yes. So how do you make this acting thing happen? What was your, what was your secret into getting uh, your career off the ground? Well, um, after school, I did a business course for one year. Okay. And then when, during that time, I, in some way, enjoyed my college year. I really enjoyed my college year, no right. lies. It was really enjoyable, like especially with the friends and having just so much of freedom in college. And, I really enjoyed it. And studying, you know, business? Yes. Was that, uh, it sounds a bit distant from, you know, where you mm, thought you were going to go acting, as yes. an actor, right? Yes. Was it an intentional thing that you decided to do? To branch out into studying well, business? I just did it because I needed something to fall on. Okay. That is why I did it too. Um, at first I was like a little bit like irritated about it, but mm. I said, never mind, I'll just do this because I need something to fall on. Okay. So, oh, and also another advice I'd give to upcoming actors and story writers anyone anyone out there is to always have something to fall on because acting is not something that is like where you can, it's a normal not a normal 95 job it's not as if you're getting jobs every single day of your life so something to fall on would definitely be to study it makes sense 
uh, and I can understand why you did that. So uh, during your college years, you know, you still had this intense love for acting. Oh, absolutely. I think most of my college friends, even now who I speak to, they do remember how I had this intense passion that I had for acting. Mm. So after the one year course, um, I 2016 came and I said I would love to do acting. So I studied these acting classes with a woman named Angela. Okay. She was a great, great, wonderful acting teacher. She taught me the intensity of what acting is all about, and she also taught me how it what it what happens when it comes to television and radio and various type of things in the arts business. She was a fantastic teacher, Angela Falfer de Rickert. Uh, she was originally from the USA. She came down to South Africa and stayed here and started her own acting school. So I went to it, and it was it was a great experience. Life changing, somewhat yes. Okay. All right, so then you go and get this uh, formal training with Angela, mm. uh, and um, how do you get the big break? Well, the big break came when my cousin messaged me. She said that there is this audition for Stimela Republic. It was somewhat like that, I remember. And then I went to the audition, and uh, Mishka Parthipal and Rory Booth, who are who were at the audition that time, right. just looked at me and uh, they asked. I remember Mishka asking me. Did you audition for a role for Keeping Up with the Kandas Armies? I said, no, I didn't audition for that sort of role, for a movie, like so to speak. And then I just walked out of that audition thinking, okay, what is Keeping Up with the Kandas Armies? It's some kind of parody to Keeping Up with the Kardashians. Right. <laughs> so I was laughing to myself and thinking that way. Then a month went by and then I got a call that... Uh, I got an email rather that uh, I have a role in the movie and I was ecstatic. I was jumping for joy. I remember sitting down and who, reading that email. And Who like, gave you the call? I mean, you know, who sent the email? Well, it came from Mishka. Right. And uh, uh, shortly, a few days afterwards, Mishka called me and she's like, you have the role of Asavan in Keeping Up With The Kandasami. <laughs> I was like, Asavan? Right. Okay, so what kind of name is this? Right. And then I said, okay, fine, Mishka, I will take the role. I'll definitely take it. So you had no idea about the role. You just Nothing. accepted it because it was just, a break. Exactly. Fantastic. It was a break. I love that. Because I was very, very passionate. I said, I'm going to take anything that comes by sure. because at the end of the day, I love acting and anything like anything small can lead to something big. So um, Mishka just tells me that and I'm like, okay, cool. I'll take it. And then I, I remember arriving on the sets of the Kandasamis and feeling this is pure magic. This is absolute pure magic. This is this is wow. It's an ex, it's an extraordinary experience. I mean, no words can be put into as to how beautiful the experience was to be on a film set and that too of the Kandasamis. And yeah, and what a cast! I mean, Kubeshin, Meshni, Jaloshni, Mishka, Madushan. Absolutely, and you know, it was it was so great seeing all of them together yeah. because I remember Jaloshni Nairu from Anchi Ramba days and also Eastern Mosaic and I know she's and Lotus listening FM. Right. yes Lotus right. FM I know, she's, I know she's <laughs> listening right now and um, Mayesh Naika yeah. and uh, Kubeshin and Rajesh I remember all of their crafts like all of the work yeah. they did prior to the Kandasamis and prior to actually meeting them even though I never met them before it was my first time meeting them I remember all their work and it was it was it was just pure magic that's all I can say and working with Jayan, Jayan is so down to earth, humble, so comfortable to work with. She really knows how yeah. to put you into your character. She's just this amazing director when you're with her. She knows how to put you into your character, really just push you and make you do your character so wonderfully. And that's Jayan Mudli, who's immensely talented. Uh, I'm going to quickly read through uh, a couple of these comments that yes. are piling up here on my yes, screen. Yes. Uh, if you just tuned in, it's uh, 7.31. It's Tuesday night. Uh, this is Lotus FM. Uh, Rushil Jaglal uh, on Tuesday Showcase uh, tonight. And uh, let's go to some of those uh, comments. Uh, hi, Alan. Awesome actor, comedian and story writer. Keep up the good work, Rushil. And persevere. Amazing shows as always, Alan. That's from DJ Waz. Uh, which is uh, really nice. Uh, the next one. Uh, hi, Alan. Hope you're well. Thanks, I am. This is Renusha. Uh, my seven-year-old Yavi is Rashil's biggest fan and wants to say hi. So why didn't you say hi to seven-year-old Yavi who's listening to me? Hey, Yavi. Thank you so much for the love and support. I really, really appreciate it. And you know, the most um, very, very surprising thing when this movie got released is how many kids love it. So many yeah. small kids love this movie. And, and, and it just makes us feel so proud that we've done something for the community. And to DJ Wazim, um, I can say right now he's a wonderful DJ I've been to two 
events and yeah. he was a DJ and he was just fabulous really really got real challenge as a DJ would really love to compliment DJ Wasim thank you so much for sending a shout out hi Alan shout out to Rushil from his friend and fan Mamta Bana sending him lots of love and support hey that's that's my very very close friend she was in fact in primary school and high school with me we were wow. very very good friends so hey Mamta thank you so much uh, do you often you know see and bump into your high school friends some of them not all but some yeah. of them i was I'm, i was like very like to myself person in high school and never associated that much although i was very passionate about the business yeah. so i see them here and there and it's great to see that they really really love the movie i'm sure you can't wait for your 10 year school reunion <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we have a junior school reunion. Uh, hi, Alan. Uh, hello, Rashil. It's so nice to hear you speak on Lotus FM. You are an awesome actor, and please keep up the great work. You certainly were my favorite character in the Kandasam. Is you rock from Naina uh, Bagaji from Port Elizabeth. Thank you, Naina. Wow, Port Elizabeth. Wow. So the movie got around. You see? Yes, I can see that. I can really see it came around. Uh, hi, Rashil. So good to listen to you on Alan Khan show. Loved you in the Kandasamis. Keep up the good work. Uh, you're loving Mousy uh, Mala from Reservoir Hills. Oh my word, yes, my auntie. I cannot believe she's actually listening wow. in. Friends, family, <laughs> high school connections. Yes. Uh, it's so nice to hear you on air, Rushil. I am the auntie from Food Lover in Westville, Auntie Sharina. <laughs> I see a lot of the family is listening in. Which is not bad. I mean, it's good yeah, to have the support. Uh, fun support. Th- thanks, Alan, and good evening to your guest. I loved his roles in the two movies. Classic, great, uh, and that's from Anonymous. Wow. Uh, and then... Let's take a last one for the time being. Hi, Rashid. Love your movies. We're big fans. Uh, great show tonight. Thanks for having Rashid on the air. So uh, your fans certainly uh, are calling in and sending Absolutely. us your messages. We, yes. We thank them for that. Which we is really, really thank our family, friends, everyone who's listening right now. Thank you so, so much. You have no idea how appreciative I am that you've supported this actor who just came out from nowhere, <laughs> if I should say. Are you a big believer in destiny, Rashid? Yes I do I believe in someone to be everything has its time. Yeah. And so I think uh, this definitely had its time. And you you feel this was meant to happen. Yes I always always feel this was really really meant to happen. And as much as that I mean there's a lot of hard work right? I mean you definitely. know we just see the finished product on the screen yes. and you know we laugh we cry you know and we enjoy but you know there's a whole back story to it. Absolutely. You know let me tell you something right now. I really commend Jayen Mudli for doing such a fantastic work mm-hmm. from beginning to end. She was on sets the whole time she put all of her energy and strength into it because I can remember when I was in the sets of Kandasamy the first one and the second one seeing how much of work was put into it I I think it takes a tremendously strong strong person yeah. to really really put so much of energy and work into something like this it really really takes and I really recommend Jane and she's such a fantastic uh, woman for a woman director to be so so to speak uh, powerful and do this movie it's just It's just it's just amazing. Uh, my good friend former deputy mayor of Etiquini Logi Naidu and uh, our former speaker of the municipality starred in that first uh, first edition of the yes, Candace. Definitely. What what was it like working with uh, with Logi? Well, ironically I wasn't on the sets when Logi was on the sets, yeah. but uh, it was wonderful to see him in a movie. I think it's very very wonderful to see him there and uh, we've met a few times after the movie and uh, we really really talked a lot about uh, the Candace Army's and it was wonderful working with him. Uh, you know, I'm sure you've made fantastic relationships. Yes, um, I have. You know, through this entire through uh, this entire movie uh Are you still in touch with any of the actors? Yes, I am. I'm in, ch- in touch with many of them. Mm. Here and there whenever we have a chance, we chat, we talk about the business. Do you have a WhatsApp group? Somewhat. <laughs> All right. Can you include me now? I'm only joking. Listen. <laughs> uh, so, uh, my studio guest tonight, Rashid Jaglal, actor and story writer, and uh, he's with me till uh, eight o'clock. We'll find out the secret to his success uh, just before we wrap up with him tonight. Uh, the entire movie industry in Durban yes, seems yes. to be really healthy at the moment. I yes, mean, it's definitely. It's been a really good, you know, Absolutely. period. Right. I mean, apart from the project you worked on. Yes. Uh, you know we had several good movies coming definitely out. we had kings of mulberry street right. by uh, directed by judy nairo and produced by bianca isaac we had three days to go right. also done by bianca isaac and we had deep end done by the wonderful yubilus timothy so i think uh, durban is filled with these beautiful artists not mm. in the, in the sense of directors but also actors and also dancers too we have our own local dancers like um recently i went to a show called shall we dance and uh, the dancing was 
amazing. I must comment all the dancers in uh, the mm-hmm. Shall We Dance show. Uh, some of my friends, which include uh, Carl Christopher Peters, um, Shaniel Sukdeo, whose birthday is today. Happy birthday to Shaniel Sukdeo. And uh, we also had the likes of going to uh, to the bridal fair. And over there, the Rudra Dance Academy, which included Pavish and Padia, um, Yashin Bhagwandin, all these fantastic people, even Kaylee Singh and uh, Priya Naidu, who's also having a workshop uh, on the 28th of uh, September, 29th of September, a dance workshop. All these artists, all these Bollywood dancers, they really, really have shown the world, not only South, Af- uh, South Africa, but the world that we really, really have talent out there. And, you know, recently we've been hearing so much of negative news about what's been happening. And so rather than showing the world this negative news, we also have this wonderful news, like this beautiful artists who can go out there and show the world that South Africa is such a positive place, such a wonderful, beautiful place to be in. And these people have really done South Africa proud. I would really have to commend all these dancers for really, really making South Africa proud. And also the actors and the directors uh, who are out there, they have done a wonderful job out there. It's also encouraging that South African audiences are warming to South African yes. productions, right? I mean, yes. so, you know, they are selling movie tickets, they are selling tickets mm, to go watch mm. these uh, theatre productions. Absolutely. Uh, and I think, you know, it's uh, it's really good, not just for the industry, but also for the production crews and everybody else associated to this. Mm, mm. And also, uh, recently, we've had uh, dancers like Manish Maraj, his group, mm. um, Vishkir Dayanand, uh, Cameron Gavinder, and uh, Vrushka Pata, and many other dance, Bharatanatyam dancers come out and really, really do such wonderful display of dancers. And when I went for the show, Shall We Dance, there was a variety of races, uh, dancers, everything was just so ver- uh, variety. It really makes us so proud to see that uh, this democratic country uh, that we've fought for so hard, they come out in this, that we're all working together in this one production. Can you dance? Um, <laughs> or do you just watch people dance? I just watch people dance. <laughs> Me and too, if, don't worry. If I'm at home like, uh, and I am just have nothing yeah. to do, then I'll just put on maybe an ABBA song. Like, I love ABBA. And so I do you just sing? dance to its song. Uh, as a hobby, yes, but I can't sing. Yeah. I cannot sing at all. <laughs> so you're an ABBA fan? <laughs> yes, I'm an ABBA fan. Can you name them? Like who? Uh, the ABBA, you know, the four? The four, yes, Agneta, Falskog, Bjorn right. Ulvaeus, Benny yeah. Anderson, and Annie Fred Lingstad. I mean, I'm impressed uh, with that. Uh, so you clearly are a big fan. What's your favorite uh, ABBA song? There's too many. I, I, I can't select any. There's too many to select Just from. give me one. Maybe uh, Dancing Queen, Knowing Me, Knowing You, and Waterloo. Okay, so there are too many for you, right? You can't. Yes. You... I just can't because ABBA. I started loving ABBA around t- 2009. Um, yeah. My friend uh, was playing Singstar ABBA, and I saw them on that screen. And I was like, I love ABBA. I really love them. They are just too amazing. So just uh, too amazing. So uh, I know that you love ABBA. Yes. And I also know that you like Mungdal. Yes. <laughs> uh, so your love for Mungdal? Uh, that came from the Patels when I used to when I was small and I used to buy uh, Patels food. Uh, they mung dal was just fantastic, yeah. and that's how my love for mung dal started. Just remember, it's got sixty three grams of carbohydrates, seven grams of sugar in it, so just go easy with it. But enjoy that uh, wonderful taste. Yes, uh, yes. Pinta says, uh, "Well done to this awesome guy, Rashul Jaglal. You make us so proud. Keep up the good work uh, that you're doing in a struggling industry." Yes. Uh, you agree with Pinta? Uh, industry struggling. Yes, in in this industry, I think there's a lot of struggles. I think as an actor, any actor out there here, South Africa or overseas, they'll they'll definitely have the days where they can't get work very mm-hmm. in a hurry because, you know, this industry is somewhat way like you know such a gamble too. You know, you have you. It's very rarely you get selected some of the times, and some of the times you don't have any work. So it's very very se- a selective industry. It's twenty away from eight. Uh, we'll take more of your comments on our WhatsApp line. Uh, we'll also find out about the Red Angels. And Rashil told me. Yes. Uh, he's got uh, some big news. It's a surprise, and I'm also dying to know what it is. So yes. Stick around. This is Lotus FM. Durban actor and story writer Rushil Jaglal, my studio guest tonight here on Lotus FM. Thank you so much uh, for joining me. Uh, tomorrow night uh, on our uh, Wednesday show, we'll be talking about the Fountain of Youth and how to slow down and uh, even... Uh, reverse some of the uh, symptoms of aging. Uh, well, I won't be uh, providing you with the expert opinion. What do I know? But I'll be asking some questions. Tomorrow night, my studio guest is Dr. Rajan Kupan on Naturally Healing uh, as we discuss the possibility of reversing the aging process and staying
staying young at heart. So join the conversation 7 to 8 tomorrow night. But for the next 17 minutes, uh, Rafil Jaglal uh, in studio with me. So, you know, this entire thing's really exploded yes. because, you know, the second installment of uh, Kandasamis came out. Yeah. Uh, and whilst you didn't have a speaking role in the first one, you also didn't have a speaking role in this one. Yeah. But I thought you had more airtime, right? I mean, you had more screen time. Yes, I did. I did. And as you saw, um, Asavan had a little bit of a yeah. love interest. I mean, you're not a naughty guy, you, right? I mean, so... <laughs> So what was that like? And all of a sudden, you know, you've got this love interest. Yeah, well, it was it was wonderful. I, I really, really enjoyed it. I mean, I really enjoyed playing Asavan. I, I didn't mind having a, uh, a love interest in the movie. I was, in fact, a little bit excited. I was like, oh, who is this love interest? I mean, it's very, very exciting to know that uh, this character has a love interest too. I mean, how can Asavan get a love interest? How is that possible? Well, you know, I was talking to Rowan Atkinson the other day and I said, how does it feel to be the white uh, Asavan, right? I mean, because many people are calling you the Indian Mr. Bean. The Indian Mr. Bean. Which is ridiculous. I mean, you know, you've got your own character. I've got my own character, which is Asavan. Mr. Bean's just Mr. Bean and Asavan's just Asavan. So, but I mean, I guess in the sense that, you know, people think that I look like him. I think maybe people would like, would like to take him that way. But hey, when, believe it or not, when Jane told me that when she had the character Asavan, she never intended it to be like an Indian Mr. Bean. She just intended Asavan to be Asavan. And surprisingly, her husband, Sugain Mudli, yeah. gave the name Asavan. And um, Sugain has a bit of a peace of mind from me for giving the name Asavan. <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, I don't think anyone else can play that character now. Uh, because I think you've made it your own and you're going yeah. to be, you know, some, and I think some actors don't want to be typecast in a particular role, right? Because you've got, if you think Sylvester Stallone, you're always going to think, you yes. know, a uh, Rocky Rambo type thing. Yes. Roger Moore, the late Roger Moore, is always Absolutely. going to be associated with uh, 007. Um, and uh, let's not forget my favorite character from the Soapy Passions, which is Charity, Molly Stanton. I mean, when she played charity molly just yeah. like she can never ever deviate from her role of charity so tell me uh, your role with the uh, red angels firstly what is red angels red angels is a non-profit organization which yeah. helps the poor and the needy it's okay. all it's done and owned by ketan sony Ketan Sony is a uh, works. Uh, he, he was the one who formulated the nonprofit organization okay. uh, Red Angels, and uh, I help him out as much as I can because I feel as an actor, as every actor has done so, they have mm -hmm. to help out with a nonprofit organization because as much as the community is giving to you, you have to also give back to them. I what love you, that. What you give, to, what people give to you, give back to them, and you know they say what goes around comes around. You help another, another helps you. The more you give, the more you get. Rishi. Absolutely. And uh, you know I'm not surprised that the success is coming away because yes. you're giving off yourself absolutely and I feel it is my duty as a person on this uh, on this planet to give back to the universe what the universe is giving back to me so what does Red Angels do Red Angels uh, helps the needy you can donate uh, money you can donate clothes right. you can donate food you can donate anything to the NPO you can contact me uh, or Ketan and Sony and 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 you know so w what's your role in there are you an ambassador for them not necessarily an ambassador, but just someone who who helps give to oh. the NPO. So you're on the ground. You've, you, you, yes. You've, you're physically assisting. Yes. Okay, that's great. Uh, you did say people can contact you. I'm assuming via yes. social media. Via accounts. social media, Facebook at Rashil Jaglal, uh, Instagram Rashil Jaglal, and WhatsApp is, uh, is at zero seven one four zero two nine six nine six. Uh, let's go back to WhatsApp, uh, Rashil. Good evening, Mr. Alan Khan. Thank you so much, Roddy, and our studio guest, Rashil Jaglal. Awesome show as always, Alan. Many congratulations to Rashil uh, for his act skill keep up the good work uh, and god bless you always rushil that's from ronnie which yes. is nice wow thank you so much uh, ronnie uh, hey rushil so proud of you uh, and, and there's a fire emoji uh, <laughs> you out here doing amazing things keep on pushing and never let anyone tell you otherwise much love claudel that's my friend from high school another friend from high school contacts me and messages thank you so much claudel i know she was in high school with me and she always remembered my true passion for acting and she is very very right in saying that nobody must ever come in the way of my true passion because she also in some way believed that i'd always become an actor sometimes um and you know it takes all types in the world right Mm. Sometimes you're going to get people who are negative and nasty. and you know. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, just to interrupt you, you're yeah. just saying that haters are the biggest motivators. Right. So you take that negativity and you turn it into positive energy. Absolutely. Because um, if 
you know the powers uh, the universe i believe in so much ways at times when you push energy it works the opposite way like for example people say you don't react and you don't fit for it and everything the universe might be in so much way reading the opposite saying hey look at the energy put towards his acting what he's mentioning maybe that's why the universe must be saying yes let's let, let's let it happen let it really really happen my studio guest tonight uh, durban actor and story writer rushil jaglal who exploded onto the uh, movie scene uh, as uh, the character asavan in uh, the kandasavis uh, alan please wish rushil all the best for the future we are really looking forward uh, to his future movies from uh, aditi uh, so um, aditi is talking about future movies uh, and anything else in the pipeline that you could divulge or share well uh, should i share the big surprise well you know i've been waiting for it okay so the big surprise is i have a youtube channel right. which is rishil jaglal and my first ever video which i will be doing about myself will be premiering or will be on my youtube channel on the 4th of october 2019 You're making us wait till the 4th of October? Yes, I'm waiting for prayer time to finish as well. All right, all okay. Well, that's good. Uh hello Alan, your show rocks. Thank you so much. Uh, Rashil Jaglal and then in brackets uh, they've written Asavan. You really outdid yourself in both of the Kandasamy movies. You go boy. I'll be rooting for you. Good luck in all of your future endeavors. That's from uh Narina. Thank you so much Narina for the love and support. I would like to just say once again, thank you so much for all that you've given me. May all this love that you give me go back to you. because uh, i always believe in giving and uh, getting so please uh, thank you so much uh, hi uh, congrats uh, rishi well acted in both of the movies my daughter acted in a small scene in the jewelry store with you do you remember that jewelry, jewelry store jewelry store did uh, asavan go into a jewelry store never <laughs> not that I ever for remember. Oh okay so maybe you went to a real life jewelry store maybe, maybe. it wasn't just uh, Yes yes. Sadly, I don't have a name uh, mm-hmm. on on that uh, from the person. Uh Jake's is listening to the show tonight and he just uh, wants to say hello. Uh here's one from Biren. Uh, good evening Alan. Hope you're well. Yes I am. Thanks Biren. Uh, a big uh, hi to Rushil Jaglal. Great to hear his voice on air. Uh, yes. Keep up the great work from Biren Ramcharan and family uh, from Empangeni. Wow. Thank you so much. And you know um talking about uh hearing my voice yeah i always get the notion i always get the notion oh you can talk you can talk and i'm like yes i can talk i can really talk and i just think to myself and never think about actors i think about ralph fiennes who plays voldemort in harry potter does he always mm. go around in a mall and be like oh so you do have a nose <laughs> he's always noseless in the movie uh good evening alan uh good evening to rushil uh rushil you're a great actor all the best in your future uh endeavors that's from maliga chetty who's tuned in tonight. So thank, thank you, you Malika. Uh and uh, there you go. Uh, it's Avania Reddy did a scene in the jewelry store. Yeah, Reddy. Avania yeah. Reddy. It'll come to you. Go and watch the movie again and you'll see it, I think. Okay. Rushil, maybe you were having a bad day that day. <laughs> Uh nine minutes away from 8 o'clock uh, Rashid Jaglal uh, with me we'll take one or more uh, you know one or two more on WhatsApp on 0716137803 uh, so um who do you describe as role models you know do you look up to anybody um you know it's hard to say role models because i look at more people who inspire me rather yeah. you know people who inspire me is what brings out the best in me yeah. like for example um neil donald walsh who wrote a book called conversations with god that book inspired me in many ways to to help me realize who and what this higher power which we call god is it really really helped me so i look at people who inspire me rather than to you know role models something yeah. like that because i feel inspiration is what we all need in life through inspiration we find our way uh, towards getting to the path that we have to get to Uh, so if I had to ask you do you have a celebrity crush you know and you are a celebrity as well but is there you know anyone else that you There is too many celebrities out there to mention you know I know for the fact that um I love Jeloshni and Mayeshni most because right. I remember seeing Mayeshni in Broken Promises when I was small and I remember imitating some of her acts. I even know some of her lines still. Mm. Jeloshni definitely because of not only Kandasam but Anchi Ramba and also the way she's inspired me too. along with the uh, Jeloshni Jayan has also inspired me they've i think it's so good to have women who inspire in life because you know they play such a, a big role in our lives they 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 bring a life into the world and so what i believe is it's so good to have them like Jeloshni when i first started speaking with her i still remember thinking to myself am i really speaking to Jeloshni right now because i saw her from when i was a small child and she was she was just amazing and am i really with maheshni naika here right now am i here with kubeshin with all of them is it really really happening because i've seen them from the time i was a small kid and really really admiring their work and what they do and also working with you alan 
Oh, bless blessed. you. Thank you so much for that, uh, Rishi. And I'm also quite amazed that this is my first time that I'm coming to the studio and uh, you are with me, the one and only Alan Khan, oh. who, I've, who I've heard over the years too. Well, you know, I've been trying to get you here for two and a half years, so thank you for finally <laughs> saying yes, uh, you know, which has really been uh, delightful <coughs> to have you on the show. Uh, our final few moments tonight with uh, actor and story writer uh, Rashil Jaglal. So, you know, I, I, I want to talk about uh, your character, uh, mm. Arsavan, because... Mm. You know, as much as I loved everything else about the, both the movies, I fell in love with the character. Uh, you know, I laughed, I enjoyed it. And uh, when we finished watch the first movie, my wife, Mariam, told me, you've got to get Rushil on the show, yes. which is why I contacted you. Because <laughs> my wife doesn't very seldom asks me for favours on air. Uh, Firstly, to Mariam, uh, congratulations on survival. Thank you. I would really love to say God has blessed her. Amen. And, um, and thank you to everyone who prayed for her and kept thank them you. in the prayers because uh, she's just really shown what woman power really is about. Yeah, we were truly blessed that uh, we had the Absolutely. love and support, Rashil. Thank you so much. And thank you for the encouragement, uh, you know, whilst Mariam was fighting cancer. Uh, in terms of talking about Asavin, mm. how did you prepare for the role? I didn't prepare for the role at all. I just went on the sets of the Kandas armies yeah. and uh, I just did whatever Jayan told me to do. Mishka was like, you just do whatever Jayan tells you to do and that's it. And then, to be honest with you, Jayan is someone who sees something in another person which you can't see in yourself. Like, she saw something in me that I couldn't even see myself. When I first saw myself on the screen and doing that stuff, I was like, can I really do that stuff? I was surprised. I was like, how did I really pull it off? How did I really manage to do it? Have you watched the movies? Yes, I have. And, uh, you know, were you, were you critical about your performance? Yes. No, I was not at all. I was quite amazed. I was, in fact, amazed that I could do this because when I f- did the first Kandasamis, I thought yeah. to myself, I'm, I'm not even speaking. I'm just doing mixing the drinks and doing this silly dance. Is it really yeah. going to get anything? But after the movie released, uh, I really, really saw what Jayan saw. And it was amazing. It was fantastic. Describe the red carpet moments. I, you know, I mean, sadly, uh, I was on mm-hmm. air for both of them, so I've missed you know, the premieres. Uh, but I managed to catch up on social media and follow all the photographs. Uh, what was it? I mean, what's it like living that experience it's fantastic it's amazing there's the, the i think just like asif who can't even speak i can't even speak any word to describe it right now because um i never knew that here in south, south africa i would make it i always thought maybe i'll go overseas and make it but here in south africa mm-hmm. it's very very rare that you get people who act in movies and really really make it big out there it's a it's a true blessing a true blessing given to someone like you know i always believe that god blesses everyone equally and you know the devotion it's always the devotion and love that you put into something that makes it uh, result in itself uh, good evening alan good evening rashil uh, rashil you're such an amazing person with so much of energy and inspiration thank you have you. a really lovely voice thank you and thank it's you so much. great to finally hear you speak yes. good luck with your future projects regards from jesh in uh, santon yes so oh. that's so. This is the thing, right? Because of the Asavan character not speaking, mm. you know, uh, all of a sudden there's Everybody's a like, there's a voice. There's a voice. There's like wow. There's people. <laughs> this to, guy can speak to the name. Uh, salam, namaste, and uh, this message. Uh, congratulations to Rashil. Well done. Good luck. Uh, wish you well in your future endeavors. God bless. Love you always. Kasturi. Uh, and I think I'll take one more, Rashil. Otherwise, mm. we'll be a, a oh, whole night. All night. Uh, so what do they? Call your guest in short. That's a Ronnie Governor. Uh, they call you Rush. I think, yes. right? <laughs> and because I know where Ronnie's heading with this one, uh, and we're going to kind of avoid that. Uh, thanks for that, uh, Ronnie. Uh, if you want to reach out to Rashil Jaglal, uh, we'll make sure we hand out uh, his uh, social media accounts uh, just before we say uh, good night to him. Uh, so, stage or big screen or small screen? And what's your preference? I prefer all. I'm passionate about the business. And when it comes to acting, I'm passionate about the fact that I can do theater and I can do a film because I've done theater before and I, now I've done film. I've done at least two stage plays and now I've done two movies. is, uh was my debut. It was my first movie. And now there's a YouTube channel as well, right? I mean, yes. so YouTube is going to be the next... Uh, next, next platform for me to showcase myself next big and, thing. and let people know that, you know, this boy, Rishil Jagdal, doesn't only really have... Asavan to play. He also has something else to present. What's your dream project, uh, Rishil? Uh, to work with Hollywood and Bollywood actors. I think it's every actor, South African actor's mm. dream to work with a Hollywood or a Bollywood actor. Uh, work with them there or work with them here? Anywhere. Here in South Africa and in America, any part of the world. It would be a dream. Ever spend any time thinking about, you know, either heading off to Mumbai or going to Los Angeles? I spend my time thinking about it. I spend mm. my time thinking how I'm going to work towards it because as we know, it's those who work are the ones who get it. 
Now, the love and support of friends and family are important. Absolutely. You're blessed to have, uh, you know, mum and dad with you. Yes. I know they're listening tonight. They told me outside. <laughs> um, I'm sure you want to say something to them. Well, I don't really have, you know, much to say. Just that, you know, um, you know, thanks for at least, you know, giving the support that was needed, you know, because uh, in the beginning, like, they weren't so, like, you know, encouraging about it because they never really thought I'd, like, make it, especially in South Africa. But now they've... Now they've just come to terms with the fact that, you know, this is my career now. This is what I love to do. And, you know, it's just one of those things. So what's the best piece of advice you've ever received? Best piece of advice? Um, most of the things in my life that come, they always come from within me. But the best piece of advice I can ever get is to live your life. Any advice for other young aspirant actors? Do this business because you love it most. Study hard, work hard, because all of that pays off at the end of the day. Like Jay Loshini, who did a video with Kajal Maraj, uh, says you must have the, res- the respect for your craft. You must have the love for your craft. You have- must have the w- hard work for your craft. Study a lot. And, you know, um, I can say right now, when I heard Jay Loshini's voice, when she was giving that advice, I thought to myself, you know, it's so true because, um, you know, there are, we do, of course, hear of stories of, people who of actors of directors or actors who sometimes don't really have the type of respect and i think that this is the best advice we can give right now is to always have respect always do this business because you love it because you love to be in it not because you love the attention of being famous and everything because some people do it because they just want to be famous they want to get the attention no this business is not about just having fame and attention it's also about loving it's about putting yourself it's about evolve evolving yourself as a person that's what it's all about too well said rushil uh, all said and done uh, rushil jaglal what's the secret to your success being passionate and having love most of all love the most powerful thing in the world having love i like that rushil it's been a pleasure privilege and an honor to have you in studio tonight uh, uh, the hour has zipped yes. by uh, my oh. thanks to those who sent through whatsapp uh, messages my apologies to those who we didn't get uh, absolutely get, my get, thanks to you uh, alan khan uh, for having me on the show i mean hey working with the one and only <laughs> alan khan is it really is, is it really presenting itself right now <laughs> you're most welcome rushil and uh, really uh, very quickly let's uh, go through your social media accounts so people can connect with you Yes. Instagram at? At Rishir, at R-R Jagral, J-U-G-L-A-L-L. Facebook? Facebook at Rushil Jagral, R-U-S-H-I-L-J-U-G-L-A-L. And I'm not going to give out your WhatsApp uh, mobile phone number, Rushil. Not but yet. listen, no uh, take care, travel home safely, much love to mom and dad. And uh, I wish you nothing but success and good fortune, health and happiness in all of the days ahead, Thank Rishil. you, and I wish you the same too. Uh, my thanks to Rushil Jagral on Tuesday's showcase, uh, which was produced by Senzum Tetwa. Thanks to Michael Bacha, our technical engineer. Uh, Shona, who I haven't seen uh, in a couple of weeks, uh, she's standing by with your final news bulletin of the night. Dees is taking care of the shop after 8. I'll be back again, God willing, tomorrow night with Dr. Rajan Kuppen as we talk about the possibility of reversing the aging process and you staying young at heart. It's uh, just gone 8. I'm Alan Khan reminding you that the beauty about life is that you and I have the ability to help others. So please be good and do good.